Hi and welcome to my first video on using OpenGL from C. The OpenGL API is actually a C API, but a lot of the tutorials on OpenGL are using C++, which is a language that I don't happen to use. So I thought it might be interesting to do some C language OpenGL tutorial series. And I may just follow along this OpenGLTutorial.org, converting the code over from C++ to C, or I might make some changes. Let's go ahead and get started. So tutorial one will be opening a window. I've gone ahead and set up a kind of skeleton project in C. Um, you can see here, I've got a source file, gl0.c, which just prints hello gl. And I've got a typical make file here, which compiles and links against the gl, glfw, and glue libraries, which you'll need to do as well. There are instructions on doing that for Windows, Linux, and Mac, so I'm going to skip that part. I'm using Nix OS, so my setup's a bit different from anyone on Linux using Debian or Ubuntu, for example. So go ahead and, for whatever operating system or distribution you're using, follow the instructions here. Once you have your setup finished, just test. Make and then run your program to make sure that you're linking against the libraries correctly. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste in some of the includes here. We've got some C standard library stuff, IO and lib. And we also have the glue library for loading OpenGL extensions and the GLFW library for window management and input on that kind of stuff. We'll skip this GLM stuff right now. This is a C++ header only library for matrix math and stuff like that. Alright, so in our main, we'll go ahead and initialize GLFW. I'm going to reformat a bit. And we'll copy in this stuff. This sets the OpenGL version that we want. And we'll go ahead and copy and paste this window opening code also. I'm just going to remove some of these comments and reformat a bit. set this up here so we don't need to do it again, I don't think. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And I need to include standard boolean. Okay, and it looks like it works. So the window should appear and be closed right away. Of course, we need to loop until the user wants to quit. So we'll remove this test message. And let's go ahead and copy and paste 
this code in. So the window opens, and then we press escape, the window closes, and the program terminates. So that's it for now. This one is easy because none of this is really C++ code, it's mostly just C compatible code. In the next tutorial, there will be some C++ code that we have to convert. So I'll see you in the next video in this series.